Hey everyone, it's Pixcaliber123. Welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Alright, so, yeah, it's 8 a.m. in the morning here, so if my voice sounds a little kind of flat, that's kind of why. You know, early in the morning. My voice always sounds like that, so. So if it sounds a little flat, that's the reason why. It takes a few hours for me to just really wake up here. Alright, well, we're just gonna continue our scouting here. Um, we're on the, uh, what is this, the western side here. And we're just gonna continue uh, scouting more islands here. I think there's one island I'm gonna go back to, because I think there's something I forgot there. I don't think those bombs are gonna reach me. Yeah, they're going a little wide there. This platform's a little high here. And the boomerang's having some trouble getting a targeting on these cannons here. <laughs> yeah, again, it happens every morning. My voice is really flat. And I should get better as a... Uh, the recording session progresses here. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, what's up here? Let's start raiding more stuff here. Might as well steal more goods here. That chest is in the way there. Oh, I got a roofie there. Uh, three for one there. I almost got all three of them over the edge, actually. Yeah, most of these are pretty useless spoils here, so... Alright, so we're just gonna go along this row here. I don't even know how many parts I've spent doing this uh, scouting here. And then I have to do it again just to get all the treasures from, uh, you know, the bottom of the sea. <clears throat> uh, but that's gonna be a separate part and probably like pretty heavily edited because it's you, you've already seen all these islands. It's just a matter of me picking up all the goods. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go into the next island here. I think there is a platform on this island as well. Uh, the next submarine again is way at the top row there. Yeah, there's a triple platform here. So I'm gonna have to look around a bit for that. 
Luckily, again, it's pretty easy to spot. <clears throat> trying to figure which one I should go to first. I'll probably just go to this one, because uh, the next island is actually a warp point, so I can just fly there. Okay, this one's a little tricky to work with. You know, those cyclones on the edges there, so you're gonna have to work with those. And this platform is pretty high as well here. Just keep sniping cannons here. I mean, seriously, they gotta be made of some pretty flimsy material of a boomerang can break them. I mean, I can understand bombs breaking them, but a boomerang is a little strange. So all we're seeing on these plain, plain old chests here, we haven't seen anything too special. Yeah, so this is the point you get on. <coughs> now this is a really low platform here, so you want to kind of get really close to the uh, the platform here, so the, the mechanics can probably get pretty low with their, you know, with their shot here. For like a higher platform, you actually want to, you can go out a little bit further because the you know, the cannons are not gonna reach you, because again, they can't fire straight down, though no, they have to have... You know, they, they have to fire at some angle. They're probably a lot more accurate from long range, so as you can see, these cannons at close range don't even see me. That's kind of annoying here because I'm probably going to have to change the win a couple times. Again, you got to use those cyclones to get to the other platforms here. more loot here. How many joy pendants do I have anyway? I've probably snagged up quite a number of these. Yeah, so again, nothing in these chests here, really. Now, this is a little trickier. You, you really have to get the wind in the right direction here to make some of these. Yeah, if you remember that Birdman flying game, that's kind of the same concept here. You're gonna have to use these cyclones pretty well. Actually, this one you might be able to... Oh no, I can actually make it without it. Okay. I thought, I thought you needed the extra height there.
Alright, another minor chest here. Oh my gosh, the old junk here. There's almost no point to doing this, but you might as well. Okay, so I could reach that one. Um, I thought you needed to catch that wind there to get up to the top. Uh, this one looks like it's either the same height or even higher than the this platform here, so this one I actually might need to catch that bit of wind there. The other one luckily was a lower platform. This one looks like it's a higher platform. Yeah, look at look at how high that one shot me. It almost shot me to the top of this thing. Have to kind of float down a little bit. Maybe got me a little bit too high there. Might as well steal all the loot you can get here. Alright, another little... Oh, this one had 100 rupees. I thought it was going to be like a... a golden feather or some minor spoil. I think with 100 rupees, that's actually pretty good. Certainly better than most of the other stuff. You know, gold feathers, uh, Boku Baba seeds, you know, all that garbage. So, 100 rupees is actually a pretty decent prize. You know, at least for that one. 